Hey guys, I are Movies here, and welcome back. Let's play Lunar 2 Eternal Blue Complete. In the last episode, we made our way through the Cave of Trial, and we are now in the City of Vain, which uh, looks a little shabby to me. I don't think I actually talked about that in the last episode, but yeah, it looks a little uh, beat up around here. But yeah, we did some exploring around the town. I bought some new weapons and armor, and then um, I was going to buy some items, too. I'm going to do that uh, right now, actually. And no, I don't want your goddamn tea! And then, like, in Final Fantasy VII. Loved that scene with Sid. This is so freaking hilarious. Alright, the famous Black Rose item shop. What can we buy here? Pretty much, well, everything you really need. But, um, yeah, I have, like, no money, so that's not really an option. Um, I don't have anything I really want to sell either. No. Okay. Yeah, I just want to show that off just real quick. Oh, yay, new tweets. I, yeah, I don't care. Okay. Alright, yeah, let's talk to some people, yeah, let's talk to some people around here first. Dozing off in the middle of the day. I wish I could. Yeah, I'm recording this episode really, really early today. I've already been up since 8 o'clock this morning. And, oh, yeah, I already talked to this lady. Who capitalizes random words. Yeah, but, yeah, anyway, um... Yeah, I'm doing this episode really early in the morning because, um... I really don't know if I'm actually scheduled to work today. So, I'm just waiting for a call from one of my supervisors to let me know if I am working or not. And, um... Yeah, so I want to get this episode out of the way before I have to leave, if I do have to leave. I know, yeah, her mom's still in trouble, too, but I don't really care. We'll talk to her later. Really, Lamina? You didn't charge a little kid to see one of your magic tricks? Oh, yeah, a big smile. My ass. Oh, yeah, yeah, Lamina does not have... I actually never really realized that. Oh, well, I did. I knew that, but never really kind of just clicked that Lamina's a single child. And now that I think of it, yeah, everyone in this game is pretty much a single child, really. Or they don't even really have parents, though. Well, I mean, Hero has uh, his, his grandpa. That's really about it, though. And Lamina has her mom. And that's really about it. Yeah, this place is kind of run down. I mean, it is the Magic Guild. I thought it'd be a little more extravagant than that. Anything else inter interesting to say around here? Oh, that's nice of her. Oh, yeah, what kind of stories? I should have figured it had to do with money. But, you know, I'm not really surprised. Yeah, I think they mentioned also on this, these chests around here, there's actually a handful of them all around the city here. Oh, uh, we can't open them quite yet. Yeah, Lamina gets pissy. Either it's express written consent. Yeah, okay, that's just great. Well, I've talked to enough people. Let's go help Lamina's mom. She's been distressed long enough, and we've kept her waiting. So. Oh, this looks nice from the uh, inside, not the outside. And Borden's here, and... Oh my god, he's fat. He could probably eat Maria if he wanted to. Like, he definitely could. Yeah, someone like so high and fancy schmancy like you, what the hell are you doing here? Oh. Okay, what's. Oh, are you gonna at least tell her where Neo Vane is? Flying cesspool. What? I've heard the word before, I don't really know what it means. But whatever. Oh, it's just, we're just gonna, you know, just walk up here. Hi. Oh, Lamina has few friends. Aww. Uh, I think somebody needs to tell Lamina that we don't really plan on joining the guild yet. Well, maybe. Never. I don't know. Hi, Borden. You are very fat. Just, uh, <laughs> want to let you know. Oh, look what we have here. Lamina, junior premier of the guild. Remember me? I'm Borgen, creator of Neovane, and the most powerful wizard in the world. Ring a bell, Dumpling? I thought it might bring back a few fond memories. <laughs> oh, I remember. I love Bo Borgen's voice in this game. The voice actor does tremendous work with it. Is yours. I told you Vane was off limits. Get out of here! I highly doubt I'll listen to you, Lamina. It's a nice try, though, but I don't think he's gonna listen. Ooh, wow. Such a really profound statement from such a really fat person. All hail Borden, the world's fattest philosopher! 
anyway. Oh, Lamina, you're not doing a really good job with that so far. What? Are you, um... Have you looked at them recently, Maria? Uh, I, I guess not. Wait, Warden, what are you doing? What are you doing? What? What? That? Oh, that, that, that wasn't cool. Wasn't that delicious? There were so many other words you could use to describe that besides delicious, but whatever. This is Bord we're talking about. I mean, my daughter loved him. He's pretty much a walking bakery. Seriously. And yeah, you would make a uh, food reference. Yeah. Just admit it. You're fat. Like, you... I, I, I don't know. Oh, well, we were going to visit Pentadolia anyway. We're still on our way there. We still have a little ways to go yet before we actually hit Pentadolia. And the end of uh, Disc 1, just a heads up. Still have a decent amount of gameplay left in Disc 1 before we get there, so... Everything okay, Lamina? No, oh, I, I, I guess not. The music here definitely fits the scene, to be sure. Okay, hey, that, that, that's a little harsh. I think somebody needs a pep talk. Well, let's just see if we can cheer Lamina up. I would think with our cheery disposition, we should be able to help out with that. And I wonder who's going to be the one to do it. Yeah, of course. It's, it's going to be here. He, here. He is the leader. So. Kind of scared of her. Oh. Okay, we've been traveling with her for how long now, and you guys are still afraid of her? I think they would have, like, bonded by now, and of course Ruby still has to follow us. Uh, no, we're not gonna laugh at you. Uh, we're all friends. Duh. No way in hell am I gonna agree with her. Are you serious? You need to keep a more positive attitude. Like, you, you've seen so far how good she is with magic. You think she'd be able to help out the guild at, at, at all? Yeah, Hero knows what. Yeah, Hero believes in her. But I think he, he deserves an enemy for saying that with a straight face. Yeah, and. Another enemy for that. And that. And that. Okay, so yeah, Hero just won like four em enemies in that speech alone. Well, it actually wasn't that bad for your first pep talk, I gotta say. No, oh, there's a smile. There you go. Much better. No, oh, hey, Ronford does make a good point here. Gene, you don't really have magic. You have dancing spells, which I guess are kind of magic, maybe? Not really. There are birds in my house. Like, not in my house. They're, like, living, like, in the roof. I, I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, I would think Lucia knows carrying on a, carrying on a given duty. Uh-huh, <laughs> she said duty, and so did I. Yeah, yeah, we're all friends here, so of course we're gonna help you out, Lamina. By the way, if I, if, if I sound a little congested, I just woke up, like, literally, like, not even an hour ago. And my nose is a little stuffy today, so that's why, so. I'm not getting sick or anything, just, my nose is always stuffed up when I wake up in the morning. It clears up later, though, so don't worry about it. Oh, sure, you're you're not crying, yeah. Something in your eye. Oh, what? A piece of silver? Probably wouldn't be the first time. Though that probably hurt too. Alrighty, Lamina is good to go. Awesome. <laughs> Lard butt, <laughs> nice. 
Oh, I would think with Borden being as fat as he is, uh, there should be a lot of silver there. All right then, and away we go. Yes, yeah, head back downstairs now. And now that we have cheered out Lamina, this will take place. Well, it, it takes place anyway. All right, now we have Lamina's permission to open up all these chests, which we'll do next time on Let's Play Lunar 2 Eternal Blue Dream Please. This has been Iron Movie Sign Off, guys. Have a nice day, and thanks for watching.